Hi Aries and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for December 16th through December 22nd, 2019. We are almost to the end of the year. So Aries, this week we have Venus moving into Aquarius on the 20th and we have the Sun moving into Capricorn on the 21st. So we are going to transition into Capricorn season this week and I'm going to be doing um, some more readings about those uh, those events to come, so I'm not going to touch on it too much in this reading, but um, ooh, Aries, we're coming into a very intense, powerful time. I'm actually very excited. So let's see what is going on for you guys this week. We have the Two of Cups as the first card. Next out is the King of Wands. Six of Swords. Temperance. King of Swords. Ooh, ooh we got two kings going on. Nine of Cups. Oh, you're looking like a nice week, Aries. And last is the Seven of Swords. All right, Aries. So I'm going to look at these as an overall story of the week, but also each individual day. So like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So by looking at it, you know, by each day, Aries, Monday is about connection and companionship, friendship, romance. You know, it's different for all of you, but this is all about really connecting with somebody and sharing a special moment or a deep conversation um, or, you know, being a shoulder to cry on or somebody really being there for you. So Monday is all about connection. Tuesday, the King of Wands uh, says you guys are fire energy. That's to me, you guys really coming through strong. It's a day where you are in a leadership role or you really need to take the reins of your own life and you know set boundaries, be assertive, be bold, be brave, say what's gotta be said, you know, do what you gotta do. But Tuesday is like, you know, you being in that energy of boss, of leader, of being in control, also very connected to your spirit. If that's not, you know, the case for you, this King of Wands could be a mature masculine energy that you are interacting with on Tuesday that's highly significant to your day and whatever's going on. On um, Wednesday, you have the Six of Swords, which... That's a day where something you've been worrying about or something that's kind of been weighing on you, you're finally feeling a bit of relief or a solution is coming into play or you're finally just like, I'm not going to worry about this anymore and you're moving beyond something. On Thursday, it's a very balanced day. I don't feel like there's a whole lot going on for you. It's just kind of an everyday type of day. On Friday, we have the King of Swords, which this is... Um, you know, as an energy of you, where you have to really make a big decision or you have to speak some truth or share what you know. And the way you express and articulate yourself is very important. Um, you know, make sure you're very honest, clear and concise and professional in whatever you have to express. Or this is another masculine energy that you are experiencing on Friday. And this is somebody who's like um, in a position of power, like offering you advice, um, helping you out, somebody very knowledgeable and wise, fair and just. On Saturday with the Nine of Cups, that's happiness. There's something going on on Saturday that really warms your heart and, you know, puts a smile on your face. Nine of Cups is, you know, about wishes and emotional fulfillment. So there's something coming on Saturday, Aries, that you're going to love very much. On Sunday, however, with that Seven of Swords, some of you could be returning back to a place of worry in the mental body where we were moving on from that earlier in the week, 
or there's something that is coming to your attention, I feel that's happened in the past that is more of a lower vibrational type of energy. So like gossip or um, somebody lied or, you know, it's just it's some negative energy. And this could be like you're hearing about it. It could directly impact you or it could just be like you're talking to somebody and you hear about what's going on in their life. So there's something about that happening on Sunday. All right, Aries, as an overall story for the week, it would be a positive week. The only card here that is a little bit, you know, curious is that Seven of Swords. So we'll pull a couple more cards just to clarify that. But, um, you know, there's two dominant influences coming in this week, two masculine, um, a King of Wands, King of Swords as you know, energies that could be a Aries, a fellow Aries, a Leo Sagittarius, or a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Those could be predominant. Also, we could have a potential Sagittarius here through temperance. All right, so we have Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, wow. Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, Nine of Swords, and Two of Swords. So Aries, Sunday is like all about some sort of truth coming to light, all right? Um, it could come from a Queen of Cups, which would be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or it could be about um, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or this is just talking about like um, the information in which you are getting where it's coming from is a very trusted source. Like, you know they're not lying, they're telling you the truth. Um, and with the Two of Swords, this could be something that you've been trying to just shield yourself from or just not even involve yourself in. And then boom, here it is. You're being told about it. And, you know, this to me looks to be where somebody is like taking advantage of somebody else financially. Um, you know, something about their resources, their money, their material. They've been used. They've been taken advantage of somehow, some way. So again, Aries, that could be, you know, something that's directly happening to you or this is, um, you know, something somebody's telling you. It feels more like somebody's telling you about it just because all of these cards fell out and then the story I feel with that. So Sunday is really the only day where I see you know, some crazy energy, and I don't feel like it really specifically affects you. It may affect you in the sense of who it who it, it happened to is somebody that you really care about. Um, but overall, there's those two strong masculine energies. Um, you know, there's some worry lifting off your mind, and midweek, it's just, you know, kind of boring, you know, just go with the flow, the routine, everything, you know, status quo. Monday, um, is very significant in this reading as well, meaning that connection that you are sharing with somebody else, okay? Aries, so let's pull a doorway card and see, you know, what spirit wants to add to this reading about potential opportunities. Whoa, I'm just dropping stuff. Okay, so this is your doorway, and it says, Silent Skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind. In meditation's grace, the soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. Okay, so that's um, pretty obvious, you know, coming to here where you're moving on from worry, a concern, something weighing heavily on you, but also coming over here on Sunday, it's like you don't need to worry. This isn't your problem. Like, I feel you're affected because you really care about the person that this is happening to but it does not directly affect you. In fact, Aries with this spirit saying, this is a week where you really shouldn't worry about anything, like everything's going smoothly, things are working out for you. It's a very nice energy all the way through the whole week. So let's pull another card, goodness. We have direction, trust your inner compass, and find your bearings. And I'm just gonna pull a few more cards because these are all little message cards. And I look at this as messages coming from the angels, from your spirit guides, and some of you, your past on loved ones. And um, you know, star seeds out there, obviously your galactic family, this is the star seed deck. 
So let's see what else comes out for our advices for this week. Celebration. Celebrate your achievements. You truly are a gift to the universe. That's beautiful, Aries. Get in some love and sugar from somebody. And you know, also with that celebration, I see it coming through with that, you know, Nine of Cups or over here with the Two of Cups. So we have joy. I follow my bliss and accept limitless joy. Look at that, Aries. This is a good week for you. I like to see this. All right, we're not done. We got a few more messages from your spiritual team. What do we have? Protection. Strong protective magic for the family and the home. Yeah, see, you have nothing to worry about. Whatever that is, it may, you know, impact somebody you care about, but it's not like directly impacting your finances, your home. Like you are uh, very protected by your spiritual team and they want you to know that. This is a week of happiness and celebration and, you know, um, follow your instincts this week. If anything feels kind of weird, you know, just trust yourself. All right, lastly, we have grounding. The beginning is where you need to be. Ooh something new starting this week as well Aries so overall it's a week of happiness there's cause for celebration there's coming together right here significant something special um, two masculines coming through very strongly feels positive to me like they're giving you um, direction guidance support or you are coming through as you know just a very wise energy this week um, channeling the higher realms like you're really picking up on the energies and messages from your spiritual team and you know this here there's a wish coming true and emotional fulfillment and satisfaction although um, you know this could be where you are being a shoulder for somebody because of some sort of tragedy that is you know come upon them but Aries you are blessed this week you are protected your spiritual team wants you to know that trust your instincts you have nothing to worry about all right so those are your messages for this week Aries I'm wishing you all the best take care